Hello, welcome to another Black Series review. Today we're looking at the Attack of the Clones Super Battle Droid. For time reasons, here's one that's already open. He comes with a laser thing that can just plug in. Move his hand down a little bit. Come on, go in. Don't be shy. Yeah. Oh. No. Yeah. I'm, I'm breaking the toy before this can plug in. Good enough, I guess. Uh, there we go. So I was trying to plug in a really stiff, transparent plastic onto more gummy soft plastic. Not great. I'm probably never going to use this laser ever again after this video. Um, well, unless it just stays on there. Anyway, so look wise, uh, there is enough amounts of paint on him, I guess. They've molded it in metallic silver that looks almost looks like it's painted, but it's not. But we do have some um, black, metallic blacks, actual black, silver, got the blue there, red. So quite a lot of painted bits there. Mine's falling apart and get glued together properly. Hmm. Well, oh well, that's fine. For me. That's fine for me. I always glue it myself or leave it loose so I can customize it or something if I want to in the future. Cause it's got a hidden bit on the head there. They don't tell you on the box, by the way, but it's there. You can remove the head panel and be like, after the Jedi's destroyed him a little bit. Or when a clone is trying to hack one of these droids. It's a little bit hard to get the head back in now. So, yeah, so a very big droid. If I just bring in Jedi, you can see he is taller and Anakin is quite tall. Just a, just a quick size comparison. Oh, and I guess here he is next to the deadliest warrior in Star Wars. <laughs> so that's, that's how he looks. Now despite the way he's been designed uh, as a CG character originally, the shape of it, top heavy and stuff, he can, unlike some other droids, stand up and not fall over. So kudos there. And he has a surprising amount of articulation. So the hands got a ball joint there, so it does move quite a lot. Rotating, swivel, and adjust his basic swivel for the hand. Uh, no articulation with the actual hands though, the fingers though, those are just molded in. Torso has a ball joint, so it will taste back quite a bit, but not forward. <clears throat> Legs here also on ball joints, but they're not only on the ball joint, but it's also on the peg, so there's a lot of movement there. And it's very tight, uh, I'm glad, because if this joint was loose, goodbye, like this thing would be garbage. A little bit rotating joint there foot up down rotating there so look at him he can actually pose quite dynamically i guess that laser is never going back on him ever again see action pose and can he stand when he's in the action pose let's try ready to fire come on Oop. he can wow so, decent colouring, looks accurate to how they do in the movies, stand pretty well, decent articulation. These are really good, once again, just like the destroyer drives I just took... Uh, just like the destroyer drives I just took a look at, um, these are some of the best drives that we have, and I'm glad that they've improved a lot. Comparing these to some of the battle droids, or especially the assassin droid, or the magna guards that were garbage standing, even with a stand they cannot stand, these are a godsend. They just so much better and I do think that they are worth the price that they were asking for if you compare it to other figures in the Black Series or compare it to similar um, 112 scale or you know, 6 inch or 7 inch lines. Subscribe to Justin Coin below because take care, have a nice day. I'll see you guys soon. Bye bye now.